welcome to the walkthrough of MDO portal. Before you start the process, keep your MDO admin login credentials ready. For any queries, please contact with IGOT Karan Yogi team at mission.karanyogi at gov.in. Visit igotkaramyogi.gov.in. Click on login. Enter MDO admin login credentials. Click on login button. Now you will be taken to the home page. Go to the top right corner and click on the initials of your name. Click on MDO portal tab. Once again, click here to log in. You will be taken to the home screen of MDO admin portal. Let's first explore the various tabs displayed on the screen after logging in. The user tab at the left displays the list of users onboarded on iGOT Karmyogi platform. Now here is how to register one or two users. Navigate to the user tab. Click on the create new button. Enter required details, full name, email, departments. To activate a learner's role, check box called public needs to be clicked. Public role is mandatory to assign. Any other roles such as content reviewer, content publisher can be assigned by the MDO leader. Click on create user to complete the process. Now here is how to bulk upload. Navigate to the users tab. Click on the file uploads tab. Use this tab to upload multiple users at once. The data of the users have to be organized in a proper format which can be downloaded by clicking on the download sample file. Once you click on the Excel file, you will find various columns appearing on the screen mentioning name, email ID, mobile number and group. These are the mandatory fields. Whereas tags, external reference ID, external reference system are not mandatory fields. Utilize tags to categorize the user based on wings, location, circles, zone, etc. External reference ID can be used for unique department specific IDs like employee ID. External reference system mentions the name of the MDO. After filling the details and once the data is ready in the format given, click on choose file and upload. The status of the file upload will appear in a file upload tab. In case of failure, click on the file name to identify the reason for failure and download the same to rectify it. The search tab at the top help you find specific user details. The MDO admin by clicking on the three dots can either edit the information or assign any new roles to the existing users and also deactivate a user when necessary. All the deactivate users will appear in inactive tab. Let's move to the next tab. Roles in Access tab allows you to view the number of users assigned to a specific role. To view the number of users, click on the refresh button against the name of the role and to view the names of the users assigned to a specific role, click on the name of the role. Let's move to the next tab. The approval tab shows request regarding the specific fields updated by users in their profiles. The users can only see the updated details once approved by the MTO admin. Let's move to the next tab. The event tab enables the creation of online events like webinars, offline training programs, etc. Inviting users from the department and across the iGOT Karamuki platform. The tab lists the upcoming events and the ones held in the past by the MTO. Let us now learn to create the event. Click on create new button in blue on the right. Enter the events detail which include the cover picture, event title, summary, description, events agenda, event type, date, time, duration of the event, video conferencing link and presenters by searching and adding the Karam Yogi user and create the event by clicking on the save and publish button in blue at the top. Let's move to the next tab. The work allocation tool is envisioned to be developed as a performance tracker and is in the stage of development. Let's move to the next tab. The blended program tab refers to the combination of online and offline learning programs which are popularly called 
Fidgetal and whose application entry approval is given on the MTO portal. Let's move to the next tab. Now let us go through the process of how to access or download the MTO report. As you can now see on the right side, there are, there are four different types of reports. One is user report, which provides the information about all the users onboarded on the iGOT Karmayogi platform under your organization. Second is consumption report, which provides the details to the MDO admin about all the courses enrolled, consumed or in process by the registered user under your organization. And the third is CBP report, which provides details about the courses published by your organization. Fourth, the user assessment report helps to monitor and track the assessment at the end of the course and the standalone assessment on the platform. Click on download button in blue color to download the file in Excel format. Congratulations, you have now access to the MTU report. Let's move to the next tab. The toolbar at the top given an overview of the number of users registered and active users in your MDO. Courses completed by your MDO, daily engagement in your MDO, leaders board within your MDO, briefing top 5 courses and top 5 users. The leader board overall shows top 5 courses based on user rating and completion and top 5 MDOs based on course completion and course published. Streamline your user management effortlessly and efficiently.